Hello in the girls and the French girls. It's Doll. Welcome back to my kitchen this Wednesday. And today I'll be serving you a Good Lurk Evolution deck. A deck that can take advantage of your opponent's weakness and pretty much KO them. And this kind of deck was really popular at the start of the expansion. The evolutions were out and this was the best synergy for it. And over time they sort of disappeared. Where are they gone? So at the end of the expansion, we're gonna take a look and see what's up. And here we go. This here is Rainbow Man, the guy who can attack for up to five different elements. And he's important due to his double type ability. He's psychic and fighting at the same time, which can take advantage of a lot of different Pokemon's weakness by himself. Now he has super power, does 120 damage, and technically does 20 damage to himself. You don't even have to worry about that because he is a fighting type. He is resistance to fighting, so we actually just resist his own damage, which is kind of weird. I'm not. It's a bit funky, but he actually does do no damage if you do the extra 120 damage. So, moving on, we need to make him more colorful, and of course, the popular choice is evolutions. We got Flareon, Vaporeon, Jolteon. You know they're there, but Flareon, he's gonna be the best of the evolution deck, so don't, don't tell the others, don't get jealous. Now Flareon, it makes Golurk a fire Pokemon, as well the other ones, Vaporeon, Jotaldeons, make them lightning and water, just to take advantage of the elements. But Flareon's more critical be due to its synergy with Blacksmith. Attach two fire energies to one of your fire Pokemons. Golurk is not a fire Pokemon unless Flareon is out. And he becomes an honorary fire Pokemon and becomes a little bit more rainbowy. So now, in order to pay for his big energy costs, you could use the blacksmith as well as double cost energy to make Golurk work. So there you go, you can see evolution, Golurk. How I pay for energy costs and the rest are just the skeletons. Now of course I got, all right, I'm using Tiano because I'm involving lots of Pokemon. I can't really discard them all the times. It's just not, Beneficial to reshuffle them and so we got Tiernos, we got roller skates Which are almost Tiernos half the time so then you can potentially get like six nine card draws in turn and you know sometimes There's just not enough Tiernos or you're just really low in cards So we have to have some sycamores as well as a birch just in case a reshuffle is needed Because you can you can easily draw out and shuffle something back now I have some Ultra Balls to help get some energies into this card, as well as Level Ball. Just wanted them to pick out one of the evolutions that I need. Or well, maybe one of the lesser evolutions. And we got Lysander, because he can kidnap one of my opponent's bench Pokemon and go Lurk, which is get rid of it. And we've got Scorch Earth. The stadium is my choice. I know I could have used Dimension Valley, but having consistent card draw is pretty important. And this thing just really helps out and it combos in synergy with blacksmith really well so overall i think this has a better nicer effect than just the mentioned valley now i'm using hard charms just turns out that Golurk doesn't get ko'd easily it's got very nice amount of hit points so i think hard charm helps it survive and it doesn't really need anything else damage flip coins all that so this felt like the most appropriate item for it so i think yeah that that's about everything Oh, we got an escape rope because my goal works at four retreat costs. I mean, he's not he's not retreating at all. So, we're about to move on to the matches, but I'm going to warn you. They're pretty much all Lucario matches. Coincidentally, most of the matches I played just happen to be Lucario's. So I'm just going to have to honor that and put them all on. Except one, of course, uh, I have to stick something else in there. But it's mostly all going to be Lucario. So, let's get still here. Let's get. Welcome to the Rainbow Man match. I'm gonna send out the little Rainbow Man to you. Well, this is not just Rainbow yet, and it is Lucario. Oh well, that's not too bad because I have resistance against fighting and a hard charm. Let's go ahead and see if this is uh, Tiano. Are you Tiano? And it's like, no, I'm not Tiano. You gotta try again. And I could attach energy, but my conditions to activate Blacksmith absolutely perfect. So I'm gonna drop them, even though I could have played them. All right, we got double colors of energy. We got an Eevee, and now this this will definitely get me a Golark. Now I can play this right now. I'm 
I'm gonna save it because I may get a better card to this card. Because I don't want to discard this. I do want to discard the Corium. So, all right. Now, let's see if you survive. I, I, I think I want to survive. So, luckily the Golurk in front. I, I could have chosen to well, charge one up in the back, but. I think I, I think he'll 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 make it. Now it ignores. It's not affected by resistance, so it just bypasses through. But my hard charm is there, blocks it. So yeah, uh, maybe for a future attack, it'll it'll be better. So now I can use Ultra Ball. Okay. Let's go ahead and actually use his energy onto the EV, so we get the Flareon. Yep, Flareon, you're up. And now, all right. I didn't want to. Sacrificed by Heart Charm, but I had to. So, here we go. We got Golurk now. And it's a little bit tougher. All I need is a Blacksmith. Fortunately, because I play Sycamore this turn, it's not going to work. Go Reverse Seeker. Or actually, Double Colors Energy works fine too. That's good. So, let's go ahead and throw this Eevee down. I'm not sure if I need it. Well, yeah. Let's just throw it down. And we'll throw activate statement once again. Give me some nice stuff. Oh, hey, another Golurk. And a Blacksmith. Man, these Golurks are gonna be ready to go. But I don't really need the need I don't really need any other evolutions because this is already naturally weak too. Well Rainbow Man. He doesn't have to be Rainbow B, he can just be as regular himself and then he's so good. So let's see how it's set up. Scorched Earth, he can definitely use my stadium, man. Help his draw power up. He's got so many cards. Why is he why is he why haven't you played any of them? So, waiting. And so now if he puts another energy on and uses Corkscrew Smash, that's going to be about 80 damage. But thank you to Resistance and the Hard Charm, I'll, I'll survive most of it. Oh, we had the Lysander. Eevee don't really need it. Okay, uh, Eevee is Eevee's just like, why did you do that to me? 160. It's just a poor Eevee, guys. So we'll send the Golark out. And now that I have Blacksmith, why not? Let's just go ahead and use it. We'll just use it. doesn't matter the front or the back. I'll just use it on the front, and we're going to charge up the next Golar, who's pretty much almost ready to go. But that's it, guys. Would you like to do more damage? Instant kill. Perfect. Well, Rainbow Man, good job. No damage due to the hard charm, and... Well, Mega Lucario, you're still here. Well, welcome to the Rainbow Man match. Lucario again? Okay, so I've got Sycamores, but I have two double colors, so I cannot play those. And, huh, you know, we may have to go tap a flare around. But, let's see what we got. First of all, I need to upgrade to Tianos. Come on, is the upgrade work? Yes. Team Orals Gates upgrade to Tiano. More cards. Uh, I already got a Flareon. But, if if I do not evolve my Eevee, I could just lose the game right then. So I have to evolve the Eevee into Flareon. And, that's all I really need to do. Let's go ahead and put a hard charm. Just add a little bit more safety to it so that's it and here we go it's the flaring gone versus lucario ex red card he's got who plays red card that's another shana for me sort of got skates i've got verse seeker so i can go ahead and well i play tierno so play tierno again birch is always head he loves he loves he always loves my opponent so here we go and it is sick more Lucario's got muscle man and a strong iron, but only 50 damage. I cannot survive another turn. Please, I need some I need some cards. I need some cards. These are upgraded. I get some more cards, but is it could be what I need is not? Hey, another roller skates. So come on, beast heads. Oh my gosh, six cards. Go lurk. Oh, Flareon needs to survive though. Let's see what Tierno gets me, because I may just pay the retreat. Yep. We're gonna just gonna retreat. Send out this Eevee. It just comes from my hand onto the bench, and here you go. You're, you're now a sacrifice. And we are gonna charge up Golette. And that's it. That's all I can do. Just gonna wait. Now, I need a blacksmith. I need a blacksmith. Cario's coming up. Yikes. Yikes. So. We threw out the EV, it's not gonna survive, and after we take down Lucario, Landorus has come out, it's not too bad. I'm gonna need a Vaporeon. I don't even need a Vaporeon. I can just one shot this. What am I talking about? Alright, bye Eevee. Well, not yet. And it's a repeat ball, another Lucario. 
Okay. So, I need, a, I need to discard fire energy and get a blacksmith, or I just need a double colors energy. I'm good. So, man, he discarded his own stadium for a fighting stadium. I don't have any fighting po EX Pokemons or basic Pokemons with abilities. Here's a bit of a risk. You're up. You're up. Another one. And let's go ahead and play this. Go Lurk. And... I think I'm going to have to bank on the double colors, guys. So sick of more discarding all these nice energies. But we are blast with. We can get them back. It's a little too late, though. So I'm just going to keep on charging up my next... Golette. And I'm just going to hold this out. Unless... Un no, 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 no. Undo the last action. I have an idea. Maybe Scorch Earth will give me what I need. So let's go ahead and undo it. Scorch Earth. I didn't see that there. Here we go. Let's activate the stadium. Come on. Give me a double colors. <laughs> okay. And I got Vaporeon. Let's go ahead and use superpower. I don't do really any damage to myself. Zero damage. Just because that's how it works. One shot Lucario. Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> the last that lucky fire energy okay. draw. Oh, welcome to the Rainbow Man match. Now my psychic powers tell me it's tails. And yep, it's tails. It's tails. See? Got it. I am totally psychic. So let's get underway. I got an Eevee. I still need my gold larks, but you know, I might I may have to go all flare on with this. So by attaching an energy, I can just evolve to Flareon, and it's good to go on my second turn. So let's go ahead and charge this up. It's just a Skarmory? Okay. So I've got my Flareon right on my first turn, kind of like playing a Wally. Let's put down the stadium and throw away this fire and she give me some nice cards. I need, I need some Pokemon to put it on. Okay, Flareon can take it. And Skarmory. Call for family, get some two basic Pokemon, EX Pokemon, so this can be bad. And he's gonna discard my stadium. I did use it, so I, I got some mileage out of that. And it's red right, guys. It's water, so Flareon's not gonna like that. And it looks like Skarmory isn't gonna attack at all. So what we're we gonna do? We're gonna discard that stadium. And we better take this red guy down. So here we go. Here's the double colors energy. And the only way I would lose the trade is that he gets the double colors energy. Or he gets the heads for Ice Beam. So we almost took him down. Let's, let's see. It's going to be a head coin flip thing. Heads, I... Well, heads, he... Oh! Is that going to make a difference? Man! That's not fair! Thanks! Oh. What? That Lysander went against you here? Of course you are. Well, welcome to the Rainbow Men match. Psychic powers. It's telling me that it's Tails. So, is it Tails? Is it going to be Tails? Yeah, it is Tails. See? Got it. I know I'm psychic. So, let's get this underway. Man. No basic Pokemons. Come on, I, I've got eight. I've got eight. So, there we go. We got Rainbow Man. And we got Rainbow Friend. Right here. And a Flareon. So, they'll all be able to go up next turn. So, and... Nope. I'm going to Tiano. I'm not going to Sycamore. Got lots of nice cards. And let's see if these will upgrade themselves to Tiano. Yep. Six cards in one turn. And I don't have to discard anything. So, let's spin a rack. The fire damn bonus is going to work for me. And let's go ahead and put double colors on you. Yep. And we'll just hold for now. Yep. I don't, I don't see anything wrong. I can't play to everything else. And I'm going to wait. And Corna. Oh, this is my champ. This is. No. Oh. Okay. Spinarak, Aria, Dose, my champ. You know that combo. I'm not sure why it's coming out in the Hands Hammer. What a jerk. What a jerk. So he's like, nope, you're not going to have that. So I'm not going to have. It. It's going to be. I'm going to be a bit slow. So we got this, though. We got this. All right. I got Go Lurk. I'm pretty much gonna stick more, so I'm. I don't trust you, Birch. Gotta toss you out. I toss the heart charm out too, and we are going to grab a Golurk, and the front Golurk is of course gonna evolve. 
now I got blacksmith but I don't have any energy no fire energies to use it Flareon is now up and let's go ahead and just let's just charge this up the regular way or we're gonna have to stick more because I need the cards I need more cards and okay scorched earth another goal alert and I think that's it for now guys so wait I activate my stadium so I can for sure blacksmith next turn hey skates perfect upgrade yourself upgrade no no okay that's it for now I'll go ahead and throw Eevee down but there we go so spinner rack is still up here up front it's it's a support Pokemon so being up front is not where it's want to be this is a real threat but we have resistance to fighting so this, this is useful plus I got the hard charm too so it's it's gonna be tough I think I got this now we haven't shown like he hasn't shown what his real potential is so this is a meta type deck Machop first seeker okay so I was expecting I was expecting another evolution Silly Sceptile or Machamp, but well, they weren't there. Yeah. Let's go ahead and use. I could use Blacksmith, but I'm still missing another energy, so I have to Tierno. So here we go, Tierno. Gonna have to activate my stadium. Now I can use the Blacksmith. Let's go ahead and attach another energy and just wait. Wait. We got Kalurk. We don't. I don't need any other evolutions. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this down. And that's it. When I need to evolve Golurk, I will. So, just building up. And he plays, he plays a trainer mail, but unfortunately did not get anything. And I'm discarding his own energies, using my own stadium against me. Oh, why are you charging up Spinarak? So Spinarak is, well, it may go on the aggressive. And I guess he may be trying to soften Golurk for meta. Metatite. Metatite is going to be a bit dangerous. So, Corna again. Going to grab a Lucario. I'm running to Lucario's. All the time. There's Rare Candy. There's Machamp. I want to put that Muscle Band onto this Metatite. But I guess Spinarak. He has something in mind. So, Machamp's going to go out. That's going to counter my resistance. Man, Lysander. Are you, are you in my Discord somewhere? No, you're not. I still have yet to pull him, and he's gonna charge up this Lucario. We're gonna have a we're gonna have a mess in our hand, guys. But for sure, blacksmith, you're up. Let's go ahead and use this and charge up my Golurk. He's ready to go, and we'll get the second Rainbow Man out. And because I'm gonna get this card, this card, let's go ahead and just activate this. See if I can get anything. Nope. We're gonna discard. This does not matter what I discard because I'm going to Sycamore. I'm going to grab me a Golurk. Yep. Golurk. Oh my Golurks are out. And we're going to attack Superpower. Sure. I really don't do any damage to myself whatsoever. So, there we go. Now, let's see who we're going to deal with. Metatite. Oh, Metatite's coming out. And Lucario's going to stand it back because, well, one-shotting this is pretty bad. So, wow, Hoopa, 3EX Pokemon, Shaman, Lucario, he could, he could have gotten another one, but I guess he's saving it. Metacham comes out, it can attack twice, Fighting Stadium, I have no EX Pokemons whatsoever, and we just both lost the ability to draw cards. Places Shaman, he had to do it for Shaman because less cards in his hand, so I guess playing the Stadium made sense. Lucario is charging up. Meta, I don't think Metacham can one-shot me because I have resistance as well as Hard Charm. Only 30 damage. Whew, it's like, oh, I lost. You can't even two-shot me. So, I need that stadium. Let's go ahead and Sycamore. Not gonna, not gonna use these skates. All right, we got a Hard Charm for you. We got a Hard Charm for you. And I know he has Enhanced Hammer, so I'm gonna save these to when I need them. All right, let's go ahead and use Super Power. Damage is free. All right, another, another KO and Lucario. Lucario is probably gonna come out. And Blacksmith, double colors, energy combo, ready to go. And he's happy that I 
you exchange stadium and another energy no I don't know if he needed uh, that he might have needed that another energy to finish the lark off but he thinks there are no energy here that's no problem wrong wrong so rainbow man you're out let's go ahead and put a double color on and let's use the blacksmith get these fire energies on to go lurk and now with I could just I don't think there's anything else I could I need to do I got into the wrong go lurk because I'm a jerk I'm not clicking right so all right you get a freebie yeah I'm just gonna end my turn right there I was like whoa whoa what do you do that for so all right let's do this I can make it up wait what is this? This is Verse Seeker for Corna. Alright, and what's it gonna be? So I guess he can't get another Machamp out. Not that Machamp. I was expecting this Machamp, but I guess there was a Machamp there. Rare Candy. Can he one shot this? Why, well, this one does have a Heart Charm and Resistance, so I think they're not enough Machamp still. I saw 100. 120, I got 130 hit points, I'll survive. And he's got no more energies after this. Why did I blacksmith you? But I got another blacksmith, 120 damage, barely surviving it. And let's go ahead and use blacksmith. We're gonna grab, well, we gotta get the verse seeker, get the blacksmith, and charge you up. And let's go ahead and discard the energies, because I, I need another blacksmith or something. Unfortunately, that goaler did get to get KO and Lucario, but there were plenty of that. And afterwards, there was another Lucario. And, oh, oh, you made it to the end. Congratulations. So, my thoughts on the deck. You have, there's just so many conditions to meet. It's slow. You have to get the Golurks out, Flareon, the energies in the discard, get the double colors and energy, and overall, it's just difficult to set up. And you have to get the right weakness, be going against Mega Pokemon that are weak to go lurk because going against things like Vesper Queen, that slow paying all that for the power that you don't need, oh, well, it's just not worth it. So I can see why Golar started to fade away, and that's my thoughts on the overall strength of the deck. Now, Halloween is coming, so Friday's deck is gonna feature Mega Gengar because, well, he just got a box theme on him so he's definitely gonna show up or at least try to show up and pumpkaboo very festive halloween theme deck coming and oh that's all this friday now if you left me a comment this monday i'm gonna answer right now if you leave me a comment this video i'll do the same so here we go we're gonna start off with dk quagmire and you said hey dig you skipped over something i've said are you gonna do a halloween deck this friday Definitely am, man. Definitely am. But, uh, Pokeboo. Gang Gengar. And moving on, we got Raising Ash. Hey, Dig, try this combination. Lugia, Malamar, and Watchhog. With the energy disruption from Head Ringers. Oh, that deck is going to be so annoying. I'll take a look at it. Thank you, Raising Ash. And Louise Hendrick, Wally. It would fit and synergize well, except Togekiss has to be from the hand, played from the hand, not your deck or from Rare Candy. It, it doesn't work that way. Unfortunately, that's... Otherwise, it would have been just a great synergy. Thank you, Luis. And Leonardo Toledo, Malmar is your best attacker ever. I agree. Those Getting good coin flips is fun. And Mike PTC Go, I don't remember ordering coin flips as a side dish of my squid and chicken. All right, very funny, Mike. Thank you. And Diogo Moreira, nice deck to all. Very balances Malamar overpower. Yes, thanks, man. And co-op, such a close finish at a tournament. Have you tried Rare Candy? I think it directly has to evolve from Tokus from the hand, nowhere to work. Otherwise, it would have been a nice combo. Uh, thank you. And Deanne Ralston. Another amazing video. Can't wait for Mega Blastoise to come out. That that's gonna be fun. Mm, maybe after expansion, when all these grass Pokemon are a little curved off. But yes, thank you. And 
Joshua Miller. This deck hates me so much. 15 Togekiss games. Five out. Only Togekiss only came out five of them. And only two energies? Man, I'm sorry. But, you know, those two energies were two turns skipped of adding energies. You can think of it that way. Yeah. And Rainbow Pit. Right? Nice deck as always. And I'm glad you did the camera up the deck. Well, thank you, Rainbow Pit. And Evan Thienson. Can you make either a Megametric Reggie Ice or Megametric Veltal? Those are pretty solid combos. We'll check into it, but XY Break is something soon. I'm not sure that's might fit squeezed in. But anyways, all right, thanks, man. And Yoggington. I'm looking forward to the Gengar build. It's more of a Halloween build, but yep, that's coming this Friday. All right, and Judson RT. I felt special when he answered my comments. I'm glad you do. And thank you very much, Judson. And HTV, awesome video, buddy. Thanks, man. Good luck with your YouTube channel. Game Finax, Malamar is absolutely amazing attacker with Togekiss. And p could you please do a Mind Shout deck? Uh, it doesn't have that power, but I'll I'll take a look at it. Thank you, Zaytax. And Victory N, could you post more budget deck profiles, please? Here it is, man. All right. Thank you, Victory. And Crazy Lou, that Gorgeist deck that you played made me consider the merits of Slurpuff Evolutions. Definitely a very powerful combo, as you saw there. Huh. Maybe you should try it this Friday. Okay, again. Maybe. All right. Thank you, Crazy Lou. None of your business. Oh, all, all right. And not bad. I kind of like the Surf and Turf idea. It works well. And Motherland, try using this deck with a uh, try using a deck with the focus on Sylvia Crobat, moving those energies to the bench, and erasing them with Crobat. That is actually a sick idea. Might try it sometime, but break is coming soon, so gotta put my attention on that. Thank you, Motherland, and Game Fanatics. It's and also, can you do Evolution Zerneus when it comes out? Of course, new Zerneus, new cards, so we gotta definitely look into that. And finally, Lightning Gamer played Mega War and played against this deck, and the guy says, Is that Dark Integral deck? And he says, Yes. Well, I'm glad it's catching on. Alright, thank you, Lightning Gamer. And that's it for now, so leave me a comment this video. I'll answer it Friday. And, well, I'll see you guys next time, Integrals in the Frenchers. Bye bye.